Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to make these little cute be beaded singles that I that I made. I made this one and my cousin made the other two on these sides. I made this one. And um, yeah, so I'm going to teach you how to make these. I'm just going to teach you how to make one. I'm going to use brown bands. You need 26 of the color that you want your the single part to be. You need 12 of your beads, and you need one C-clip, and one rainbow loom, and one hook, of course. And I, I'm, today I am using these colored extra-large bands from rainbowloom.com. And, uh, well, I actually got them from the Michaels Craft Store, but you can get them at rainbowloom.com, too. Um, and I am using a metal hook, and I put a marshmallow on my hook, which is cute. Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. She wanted her bracelets back after. <laughs> so, and you need one broken band like this. Knock my hook out my mouth. I know. Okay, so now you take one of your browns your single color and you stick it onto this broken band like this and make sure the broken band looks something like this so it's hanging off and you need it straight at the, the top and you take one of your beads and you thread the bead through the broken one sorry if my fingers are in the way but look like that so the broken band is so it's on the broken band and you just slide it down onto that band so it looks like that yay okay so now you just want to take the broken band and take it out and set it aside and that's what you should have and you should do 12 of those so now you need to take your loom by the way I use 26 just depending on how big your wrist is but you just take one regular band and you place it from the middle part to this part. And I'm just doing it this way because uh, it's just easier to show the camera. But it, you should have the arrow actually facing away from you. It doesn't really matter as long as you do it correctly. And now you take one of your beaded bands and you place it from this peg to that one, like that. So now, your loom should look like that. Be quiet. So now you take a regular band again, just put it like that, push it down, and uh, then you take another beaded one, and you go from there to there, and you go down alternating between regular bands and beaded bands. It doesn't, well, I actually, I think it's 25. I may have miscounted. I don't no, really I know. Them. Because, uh, the one that fits me is like, I don't really know. I don't really know. I, at first I counted 25, and then I counted 26. So, I guess I'll find out. If I have one leftover band, then it's 25, so... Sorry about that. It's getting a little farther away from the camera, so you can't really see it now that much. But you know what you're supposed to do, which is good. You should know what to do, and if you don't know what to do, just go back to the beginning, and then you'll know what to do. So, I'm almost done. I just have a few more bands to go. I go all the way down the loom. But you do whatever you want to do. Oh man, one of my beads popped out. Or, instead of using a broken band, which is a lot more complicated, you just take the band that you're using, stick the bead right through. Which is a lot faster. But I just like doing it with the broken band, because I just think it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, it's 25, sorry. Because I still have left over. But, it's 25, I'll pick that up. So yeah, this is what your loom should look like now. Okay, now you just flip your loom around. Oh, wait, it is 26. Because for the cap band, you could either use a cap band or you could just loop it like a single. I like to use a cap band. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm weird. So now you take the band and you put it like this, and then you twist it, and then you put it back on itself. So it's got a cat band, or you can do it on your head. And then you just you take your hook, you take your hook, and then you put go under the cat band. Then you take the brown single band, pull it off the pin, and put it where it belongs, like this. So it's looped like that. So yeah, and then you just go into that those two. Then you grab the bead band and then you pull that over. And then you take this band and you take it off, pull it over. Then you go over here, grab the beaded band, go that way. And I'll show you like a few more times. You take the regular band, take it off the pin, put it over there. Take the bead band, take it off the pin, put it over there. Take the regular one, take it off the pin, put it over there. So now you should do that all the way up the loom. And uh, I'm going to flip it around so I can do it easier. But yeah, just do that all the way up. And it doesn't take me long. It doesn't. It only takes me like a few not even a minute. It takes me like 30 seconds to actually do it because I am an advanced loomer and singles are my thing. <laughs> so, because I, I have been making these for years. I've been making Rainbow Loom stuff for years and uh, that's why I made this marshmallow because it's cute and advanced. So, if you want to become an advanced loomer, then you shall go from be from singles to fishtails to ladders to starbursts to starbursts, which I think I have one in here somewhere. And then you shall start making other bracelets. But now I am done looping. Now your loom shall should look like this. Okay, then you stick your hook in, and then you bring it around, and then you just have to, like, take the whole thing off your loom. Just pull it right off. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. The beads. A bead, the bead, the beads. So now you take those two little loops that you have on your hip. And you put them on your finger. And you put them on your finger like this. And then you take your C clip and just pop it right on there. So, like that. I'm sorry if my fingers are in the way. I have huge fingers. Um, and then just go over where your cat band is at. Which mine is right here. And then you put the cat band on your fingers. And then, you know the drill! Put this one on to here. Oh, see? Look. Now you have a bracelet. Now you just wear it. It's kind of big. I like it going down my arm like that. But I'm giving it to my cousin, Brandy. Because I'm starting another collection of these kind of... She has an arm of fame. It's her arm of fame. And I love these kind of bracelets. So, Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And if you have any suggestions for a bracelet or something, comment down below what you want me to make. Toodles!